Hello Cougars, Mr. Franklin here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Doppler effect lab from Explore Learning. So you can click on the gizmo link, it'll take you there. Also, don't forget to open up your document to follow along. Now, overall, this document is just like all of our other documents, where if you just follow the directions, the directions are very clear as to what you should set. And if you do that, you should be, you should actually do fairly well. But this is the Doppler effect. So there's some things that we're wanting you to look at that may or may not, you may not have picked up based on our video notes. So I just want to go over a few things and make it really clear for you. So here I have the gizmo. So the first thing I did is I actually am going to set the velocity of the source to zero. And so we have some tools. We have a timer up here. So if I hit play, it'll run the timer. And then I can display additional waves. Okay. And I can also display the observed frequency. And what that means is our little person right here, which I can grab and move around, when they get, have a wave hit them, it displays what, what frequency they perceive. So if I change the frequency, I can hit play and they're going to hear the thousand hertz, okay? So the Doppler effect is all about the observer. And so that's part of what we're gonna notice as we go through this. Um, I'm actually going to turn off that. And so you can also drag the ruler. And so we can hit play and then we can hit pause and then we can actually measure the distance between the waves. So we can measure the wavelength and we can set the motion to circular. So we can set the motion to circular. What does that mean? If I actually allow the car to move, if I allow the car to move, we can set it to circular where it'll actually move in a circle. I can set it to oscillating where it'll go forward and backward, forward and backward. Here, let's move it over here so you can see it. Okay, so it can oscillate, but I can also set it to where it'll just drive in a straight line. Okay, so we're most of this gizmo, we're just gonna leave it here at linear. Um, and yeah, there we go. So what we're saying is this car, when it drives is gonna create a sound wave that then this person right here can hear. So I click play, the car is emitting a sound and the person is hearing. What they're hearing is 500 Hertz. Now, if I have the car actually drive forward at 40 meters per second, what you're gonna notice is it starts out at a little bit higher frequency as the car approaches. But notice as the car gets closer, the frequency starts to drop. So the car is still creating the same sound, but the person listening is hearing something different. And so now as the car drives away, the person is starting to hear a lower frequency. And so when you hear this, it might sound like this. Because a high frequency is a high note, and a low frequency is a low note. So you hear it coming at you and it sounds high and then it drops in pitch and changes to a lower pitch as it drives past you. And we can make this go faster. And we can see a much faster change, much bigger change based on the speed of the object. But this is based on what is the observer hearing? Okay, and so how does this actually work? So as the sound is emitted, it causes a pressure wave. And what happens is, see the red, that's the pressure wave. Well, the person, when you hear it, you're hearing that energy that reaches your ear. Well, the emission, as it gets closer, the emissions are actually emitting and coming at you fairly close together. But then as it drives away, it's farther away from you from the last time it emitted the sound. And so it takes it a while to get to you. And so you, it, you perceive a drop in frequency, even though the car is actually creating the same sound the whole time. So the whole time the car is creating a 500 Hertz sound, it starts at 600 Hertz. And now as the car drives by, it's gonna drop to under 500 Hertz. Let's see how low it goes. So what you're gonna do with this gizmo is you're gonna explore different settings, different speeds. You're going to 
you can actually manipulate the change in the speed of sound. If you're closer to sea level, thicker atmosphere, you will get a, the speed of sound is actually much higher. If you're higher up in the atmosphere, speed of sound, because the air is thinner, speed is actually a little slower, that kind of a thing. So if you get stuck in all of this, just refresh your browser and it should reset everything back to normal, okay? So just refresh your browser to reset it. So now you should be familiar with the, the controls. Now just start here at the top, read down. When it says play the sample, you click the button that it shows you and answer the questions to the best of your ability. Um, just make sure that you follow the directions carefully and make sure that you change things when you're supposed to and all that good stuff. So enjoy exploring that, the Doppler effect.